Hello and welcome to another lesson of the TI30XB student course. In this lesson today, we're going to be looking at the concept of time and particularly converting between a decimal time value uh, and a time value that's presented in hours, minutes and seconds. So most people are fairly familiar with um, some easy time conversions between decimals and hours, minutes and seconds. Say for example, uh, 0.5 of an hour being fairly easily converted to 30 minutes. Uh, but what about something slightly more complicated like 0.4 of an hour? Um, now you could work this out by taking 0.4 and we know that there's 60 minutes in an hour, so multiplying that by 60 and get, bring up our answer of 24. Uh, but a kind of maybe more straightforward way of working it out is using our angle uh, function on our calculator. So to do this, uh, we would type in our 0.4 and then we would use that, bring up that angle menu by going second and then pressing the probability button. And then scrolling all the way down uh, to this function here, which is converting to degrees, minutes and seconds. Uh, so converting that to degrees, minutes and seconds will bring up our answer um, in terms of time presented in hours, minutes and seconds. Okay, so we're going to press enter. And there you can see it there, zero hours, 0.4, converting to degrees, minutes and seconds, zero hours, 24 minutes and zero seconds. Okay, so let's look at a slightly more complicated question. So this question says a race started at 8.52 a.m. Uh, and 15 seconds, and the fastest person finished at 9.13 a.m. and 28 seconds. How long did it take for the winner to finish the race? Okay, so to work this out, we're going to take our time in hours, minutes, and seconds and convert that into a decimal. Uh, so our first time, 8.52 a.m. and 15 seconds. So we're going to go 8, then we're going to use our angle button again. So uh, that little degrees sign, that represents our hours in the time context. Okay, so 8 hours, 52 minutes, and 15 seconds. Okay, and if I just straight up press enter after that, um, that's going to give me that number as a decimal there. So we can see there 8.87083 recurring. Okay, the next one, uh, we've got nine, so this is the finishing time of our race, is at nine hours, 13 minutes, and 28 seconds. Okay, and again, enter, and there we can see uh, that value there as a decimal. So now if we wanna know how long did it take for the winner to finish the race, that's the difference between our end time and our start time. So we can use our arrow button to go up to our finishing time, uh, then we're going to subtract the starting time, again just using our arrow to go up and copy that value and bring it down, enter again, uh, press enter, and there we can see there's our time, 0 0.3536, recurring. Okay, now this doesn't mean anything because this is a decimal time value, it doesn't actually tell us how long in minutes and seconds that it took for this person to finish the race. So now if we copy that value one more time, so arrowing up, Enter to copy down, and now we want to use that angle function one last time to convert this answer into degrees, minutes, and seconds. Pressing enter, we can then see that this person finished the race in 21 minutes, so 0 hours, 21 minutes, and 13 seconds. So 21 minutes and 13 seconds would be the answer to our problem. Okay, I hope this was helpful, um, and thank you very much for listening.